Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV. And today's a tasting show, and today we're trying the wines of uh, Leo Hillinger, an Austrian wine producer. Makes this lovely, stylish packaging. It's the Valschriesling. And the Valschriesling is not to be uh, confused with the regular Rhine Riesling uh, German varietal. Uh, it's a very, very ancient grape. Uh, origin somewhat unknown. Uh, very popular in the Balkans and, uh, and also in northern Italy where it's called uh, Riesling Italiano. Who would have guessed? And the, uh, so the Welsh Riesling, uh, I think, I don't know, I've never had one before, so let's give it a go. It's 2009, Hillinger, Neil Hillinger. 1699. Good <coughs> cap. Austrian flag. So, so Rieslings, of course, are known kind of for their sugar, the residual sugar, it's a little sweetness. For some reason, I'm not expecting any of those things. But I'm getting none. I'm getting no sweetness, I'm getting no fruit. On the nose, just a delicate peppery, a little green, like poached asparagus kind of a thing, asparagus and pepper, stay with that. Very dry. Got a little um, tightness to it in the mouth. The acidity is, is fairly high. Just a very light, citrusy wine. Fairly long finish. Um, not unlike a Gruner Veltliner. Very minerally. Um, not terribly distinctive, uh, but uh, I mean, a very pleasant one. Uh, bright, citrusy, minerally, good food wine, not good by itself necessarily, unless you like these types of wine. Again, something that could go well with, uh, well, I would say, some more delicate uh, Asian food, not too assertive. Um, I come back to fatty foods as well, like uh, like um, uh, short ribs or uh, sausages, things with some, some fat, some grease. I think would be very good with this. Um, it's it's a nice wine, you know. Uh, you're not going to drink a lot of Welsh Rieslings, but uh, but I think you'll like this if you like a drier style. Ooh. Just getting a little out. Uh, it's, er, it's herbaceous. It's herbaceous. Leo Hillinger, Val Schriesling, 2009. 2009. I like it.